This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I resend a model to Keyshot without updating the camera? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about sending a model using the ZBrush to Keyshot bridge, but only sending the model information and not sending the camera. So when the model reaches Keyshot, having it so that the camera does not get updated. So how can I go by doing this? So before we send the model to Keyshot, we need to set a few different things here. So first I'm just going to reposition Earthquake here to get a better angle, and then maybe go to the draw palette up here. And I'm gonna change my focal length to say 35, and then I'm gonna store this camera too. So I'm gonna come to the bottom down here, I'm gonna click Store Camera, and then give this a name, and then hit Enter. And now I've stored that camera there. So now inside of ZBrush, if I rotate the model around, I can come back to the draw palette and go down to the camera area here. And I can just click the name of the camera and it's gonna go right back to that camera position. So this will allow me to store the camera inside of ZBrush. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna set the external renderer to Keyshot. So I'm gonna navigate up here to the render palette and open this up. In here, I'm gonna to go to the external renderer tab and I activate the Keyshot option here. And now I'm gonna come over here and click this BPR button. Now when I click the BPR button, as long as I have the external renderer Keyshot option enabled, ZBrush is going to take the model and send it to Keyshot using the ZBrush to Keyshot bridge. So if I come over here and click BPR, it's going to look at all the model information and then send it to Keyshot. After this is done, I should have my model here inside of Keyshot. So we have Earthquake over here. If I go to the Scene Palette, you can see it contains all these subtools here. And if I go to the Camera, you'll see I have a free camera and then also the ZBrush camera. So the ZBrush camera is the camera that was sent along, and this camera should match what I have inside of ZBrush. So now let's say with this camera here, I wanna go back to ZBrush and I wanna make some changes. Maybe we wanna take his vest off here, move it to the side, but then I wanna keep this camera angle. So let's go back to ZBrush quick. And inside of ZBrush here, let's say I rotate Earthquake over here, and then maybe I select his kimono, and I go to the Move Brush, and then just move this some, so offset it like this. And now I wanna resend the model back to Keyshot with the changes I did to his clothing here. So I'm gonna come over here and press the BPR button again, and after this sends, if I go back to Keyshot, you'll see that the camera has been updated to match what I had in ZBrush. So even if I come over to the camera palette over here and I click on the ZBrush camera, you'll see it's not changing back to that initial camera view. It's using the view that I had inside of ZBrush when I made the modification to his kimono. So if I want to now make modifications to my model, but I don't want to update the camera, all you have to do is drop out of perspective inside of ZBrush. So I'm gonna go back to ZBrush here, and now I'm gonna go back to the draw palette to get back my original camera position. So coming down here and clicking on front. Now I wanna resend this camera with the changes I did to the kimono. So I'm gonna to go to the BPR button over here and click this to send it back to Keyshot. And now if I go back to Keyshot here, you'll see that the camera is now matching my original one. I have the kimono changes. Now I'm gonna go back to ZBrush again, and now I'm gonna modify that kimono some more. Just making this maybe a little bit larger. Make it really float above his shoulders here. So something pretty crazy so we can see the change here. And then before I send the model back with these changes, I'm gonna disable the perspective option over here. So I'm just gonna come over here and turn this off and now make sure Earthquake is in an orthographic view. Now if I come over here and click BPR to send the model to Keyshot, since I have perspective turned off, which is disabling the universal camera, when I click BPR now, ZBrush is only going to send the model information and it's not going to update the camera inside of Keyshot. So if I click this now and then go back to Keyshot, you'll see that the camera has stayed so it has not been updated, but the changes I did to the mesh have been modified. So it has sent the model data, but it has not adjusted the camera. So going back to ZBrush one more time. So if you send a model inside of ZBrush to Keyshot using the ZBrush to Keyshot bridge, if you have perspective enabled, when you send the model, it will send the model and the camera position. However, if you have perspective turned off, 
it will only send the model information and it will not update the camera. So if you wanna make changes to your model and hold the camera position inside of Keyshot, just make sure that you have this perspective option over here disabled. And then when you click the BPR button to send the model to Keyshot, this will not update the camera. It will only update the model geometry. And then inside of Keyshot, you should have the camera stored and you'll now just have your mesh updated with the changes you made. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.